Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Two days in a row, we've managed to make a video. You know, just proud of that. Here we are anyway, and I'm, I mean, it's a split, it's split time. We've not really spoke about any games since coming into the split, but we're coming to the last three games of the season. Why not preview the matches? We're at a time now where Celtic can secure the title. They're big games. I really should have done it for the Hibs game. Uh, I really should have done it for the game last week against Kilmarnock as well. Didn't exactly get round to them, but now I believe it's time... Uh, today an Aberdeen match preview, I guess we've done this for the cup semi-final last month uh, and things went well there, so do you know what, we'll do it again and I hope we get the same result this time at Pataudry rather than Hamden. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hello, welcome, and uh, hit the like button as well. Also, a quick announcement before we go on with the video, if you could be ever so nice to check out um, a wee side project I do outside of YouTube, my own me clothing brand with my pals, Mostro Coven, we've released our new collection today, I know, plugging my own shit as well, it's, it's great. Um, the, the link will be in the description, it's all new stuff I've released today, it's really cheap and affordable, um, it's just a wee side project, something that we hope takes off in the future, so please, I urge you all um, to check the, the, the top comment we pinned and the, the description below, where you can find a link to that. Anyway, what you're all here to see is um, me talking about Celtic. I guess that is the, the reason you've clicked on this video to talk about the Aberdeen match this Sunday. Also, very quickly, if you want to see match previews, maybe match reviews, especially previews for every game next season, then let me know if that's something that you want me to do in the, the, the comments below. Next season, obviously, will be a very competitive season. It'll be a new look for Celtic, new manager maybe, um, a lot of things will be changing, so it'll be interesting heading into every, every game with different perspectives and such, uh, and it'll probably just be a lot more competitive with every team in the league, so if you want to see that next season, make sure to leave it in the comments below, it, it gives me extra content and stuff to do, I've really been against it in the past, but if you want me to start doing it next year, let me know, but Aberdeen, Pataudry this Sunday, it is the chance for Celtic to wrap up the title, which they already should have had, had wrapped up at this point, we have had multiple opportunities to just get it over and done with and over the line and we've dropped points we've had poor results i guess rangers on the other side have done well and in, in getting wins in their matches and such but we've had points thrown away at stupid games including the home games as well uh, there's been a lot of poor performances in the league as we know we've been over it all now i hear everything that people are saying about neil obviously i made my video the other day on neil Lennon, and whether or not i think he should remain celtic manager heading into next season and a lot of people did agree with me but a lot of people also gave the opinion that come on lennon deserves a lot more praise a lot more respect came in wasn't an easy job for him he had to you know rally around the, the squad who had just watched one of the greatest managers we've had in years walk out and such. And I understand that. And yes, it's very difficult. But it doesn't take away from the fact that performances have been poor in the league. We have not had one good league performance under Neil Lennon, I don't think. The Rangers game was stellar at most. You know, we, we, we played well in the first half, second half. We weren't as great. We got the win at the end of the day. But there's not been a, a, a performance in the league where I've been able to sit down and go, we were impressive today. We fought for that win and we deserved it. We've won with late goals. Yes, it's difficult playing against teams who constantly want to play 10 men behind the ball. I understand that. It's not easy to break down teams. But I feel like we've just lacked a lot of tactical ability and movement and such. And, and that final pass that we had under Rodgers, I don't think we've had that with Lennon. And that's what struggled to get us these points over the line and, and had to rely on last minute goals and such. It's been dodgy. It's not been awful. It's not been abysmal. But we can certainly do better. And um, we need to start showing that. Now, Aberdeen... We go into this game, Aberdeen, obviously, away from home. Pataudry, we've had a lot of, you know, good times in the last couple of seasons. We've not lost at Pataudry um, in the league. It's, it's been a place we've went to and had many a fun times, and we've, we've had a decent success rate over there. We've also had a decent success rate recently over Aberdeen as well. You know, 3 now at Hamden the other week in the Cup. A lot on the line. Will the performance on Sunday reflect that game? I'm not so sure. And this is why. Very simply... I've said it so many times, and I've even said it in this video, technically. The league performances have been poor. I think we've lacked a lot because there's been nothing on the line to play for. And we've just been kind of trying to get over the line. Whereas in that League Cup game, the players have gone into it knowing treble, treble on the line. We need to get to the final. It means a lot. We, we should be trying to replicate the success of the last two seasons. And showing that we can do it without Brendan Rodgers. There's a, there was a lot on the line in that game. And you could see the players playing very, very differently. There was a very high intensity around the side. But in the league, we've lacked that. So this Sunday, I don't know if we're going to go to Pataudry with that same intensity. And that same desire as we had in that semi-final in the Cup. I just feel like we're going to lack it. And, I, and I'm, I'm worried. Now... 
surely weighing on the players' minds on Sunday. They should be going out of the park and thinking to themselves, right, we can win the league today. Oh, I believe all we need is a point. I'm not too sure on that. Don't take my word for it. It might be a win. But if it is a win, nonetheless, uh, all they need to think about is if we win today, we are champions. It's eight in a row. Get it over the line. Stress over. Because we're at a point now, and I don't believe it's going to happen. I really do not believe it's going to happen. I, I, I'm, I'm under this faith that we can get the, the league wrapped up on Sunday. Despite putting the putting the, putting the, the, the poor performances behind us, despite them, I believe we can do it on Sunday. But we're at the point now where if we lose on Sunday and Rangers win, and then we, say, go to Ibrox in the derby and lose again, we're coming down to our last game of the season where ultimately we still should be winning the league. We're at home, we should be getting the points, but it's not the way we should be winning the league after how things have went up to, you know, a certain point in the season. We thought we had the league title wrapped up at Rugby Park in February before we played Valencia in the Europa League. And quite rightfully so, because it looked as though there was no coming back for Rangers, which there still isn't in my eyes. Um, there was, you know, we were miles ahead, we were playing well, we were winning games, we were on a good run. And then obviously things just went like that because of the whole managerial situation. Uh, and now we're at a point where we could generally be looking at a last day decider for the title, which is which is bonkers to me, it's madness. So this Sunday, weighing on every single player's mind should be, let's just get this title wrapped up so we can go to the derby, hopefully Rangers morale's down, get a win there, get through the last game of the season and then go to the cup final at Hamden and secure the treble treble. That should be the thoughts on every player's minds coming out to this game on Sunday. Let's just get the league title wrapped up. And it's why I'm expecting us to ultimately go out on Sunday and win despite the poor performances. There are players who are playing well. There are players who are lacking. I think the last few weeks for me, the three players who've been standing out as the keeper in the centre halves, Ayer, Simonovic and Bain, those three, they've got, they're like, they're the unit in the team just now. And, and, it's, and it's weird to say that right now, our centre halves are our best players because for years, <laughs> for years we've been crying about how bad our centre halves are. We need to improve the centre halves, and we've been talking about how good our forwards are. You know, we've had we've had the Bailey, Griffiths, Edward. We've had Sinclair over on the left post and the right. We've been talking about how good our forwards is, but we're just not producing at the minute, heading up the park. Aberdeen like to get you know very into the game in these games. They they like getting their tackles in. I mean, we saw two red cards at Hamden. They went down to nine men. McInnes was sent to the stands. I think if we play a type of football that invites them in to do those sort of things, we can take advantage of that, like we did at Aberdeen, uh, sorry, at Hamden. I think the emotions do get the better of them sometimes. And they're coming off, ultimately, the back of a loss at Ibrox last week. So, we won last week, they lost last week. If you're judging by form, and just by the overall league table, we are favourites going this game. But with all respect, you've got to look at the fact that Aberdeen are a difficult side. They're a good team, one of the best in the league. And they could very easily beat us on Sunday if we do not play to a standard um, that, you know, we did at Hamden. If we don't match that, if we match that kind of standard we've been playing in the league, it's going to be a very dodgy game on Sunday. But I'm with the full faith, with the league title on the line and knowing we want it over the line, we should be heading out and getting a win on Sunday. As for the team, I think there's not going to be too many changes. Um, if I was to give my start in 11, I'm going to go with Bain. I, I think Lustig is, is going to start. I, I want to see Toljan get a chance in the team again, but I think it's done. I think Toljan will return to Dortmund. We're not going to see much else of him. Toljan, Seminovic, Ayer. I'd be putting Hayes at left back. I think Hayes has been decent recently. He's been playing both left back and left mid over the course of the season. And ultimately, Zagiri hasn't been great. I think Hayes should be in there. Uh, and, and the reason I'm playing left back and not left mid is left mid should be Sinclair coming off the back of a new contract. He's got a lot to play for. Show that he's still got worth to Celtic. As I said in my video yesterday, if it was up to me, I would have been getting rid of him in the summer. So I feel like he should come off coming off the back of that contract announcement. It's only right I feel like he should be in the team. Uh, Brown and McGregor in the central defensive position, uh, central midfield, the defensive midfield, can I talk now, positions. Forrest on the right. Rogic, for me, has to start the game again. He changed the game at Hibs when he came on. Uh, he, he, he scored against Aberdeen in the Cup semi. He, he loves a goal against Aberdeen. For me, all signs indicate that Rogic has to start. I don't see him lasting the game, mind you. But I just think Rogic should start the, start the match. And up front, Edward. Um, there's no other option really there. Um, hopefully, he can bag himself another goal or two just to keep the confidence in his game because he's been looking sharp, but sometimes he just lacks 
the goal, I think that knocks his confidence down. I'd like to see him riding high in confidence, and, and the only way by doing that, I suppose, is by having a good game and getting a goal. So, Edouard up front for me. If I'm going for a, a result, I'm going to go 2-1 Celtic. I, I do think it's going to be a struggle. As I said, I think we'll get over the line. I'm not overly confident about this game. But um, with the title on the line, we should hopefully be winning the match. And whatever manner it is, I don't care. Uh, because I just want to take Usually I would care. Usually I don't like seeing these sloppy performances. And I've complained about the sloppy performances on YouTube constantly. Uh, and how I don't think Lennon's performances have been great. But I just want the title over the line. I don't care how it's done this Sunday. Let's just get it done, Celtic. Let me know your opinions and predictions in the comments below. If you've enjoyed, as I said, like and subscribe. Check out all the links as well. And I'll see you all next time.